Too often, a student athlete shoots a game winning shot or scores a game winning touchdown, but then collapses during the celebration. That's why the Heart Institute at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center invites families to attend a live online question and answer session on Tuesday. Here today is pediatric cardiologist Dr. John Lynn Jeffries. Now, tell us why you are doing this live chat in the first place. Well, we really want to increase awareness uh, about this potentially um, impactful problem. Uh, as uh, many people know, and as you just alluded to, that oftentimes there are no heralding symptoms, and that when this does occur, it's a tragic event, even though uh, there are numerous uh, athletes in the country that never experience this. It, uh, unfortunately, when it does occur, it's, it's a very serious problem. Now, who's most at risk for a sudden cardiac arrest? Well, it's patients that we know uh, may have predisposing factors. Some of those are genetically triggered. Some of those are based on family history, and some are based on symptoms. And so oftentimes it requires a thoughtful evaluation to, to really um, try and get at which patients may be at risk and what we could do to help uh, prevent these unfortunate events. Now, who would you recommend be screened for, for something like this? So we would, we would encourage people, anyone that really is worried, to, to talk to their health care provider. But people that have a, a, a family history for things such as sudden death, uh, known uh, cardiac disease such as cardiomyopathies or uh, unusual heart rhythms, uh, and then um, anyone else that uh, really uh, has a specific question, I think they should be advised to talk more specifically with a health care provider. Well, for some people, they might be a little, a little scared of the thought of even getting screened for that. What's, what's the process like to be screened? Well, most of what we're talking about would be just a, a discussion and a physical examination. Then we may need to elevate that to more advanced testing, looking at EKGs or ultrasounds of the heart if that were necessary, if we thought that was indicated for that particular individual. Thank you so much for joining us today. You guys will have much more information. You'll Thank be you. able to answer questions at this live chat. That's Tuesday from 7 to 8. To register online, we have a link in the Healthy Living section on WCPO.com.